What? Okay. Katsi Kaiser helps people in need. She's been taking care of homeless people in Berlin for 12 years. I've seen a lot of terrible things. I've even seen people dying. At night, she drives through Berlin in the cold bus, on the lookout for people at risk of freezing. Kreuzberg, downtown Berlin. At night, homeless people roll out their sleeping bags here in the Zudstan neighborhood. Most residents choose to look the other way. Oh, is this Hello. Oh, Andy. Hello. Kaltewurst. Hey. It's so cold, Andy. Don't you want to go inside somewhere? Okay. Kati Kaiser and Antonia Weinert work for the Christian association Berliner Stadtmission, Berlin City Mission. Who's sleeping here? Oh, he doesn't have a sleeping pad either, Tony. Hey there. Are you okay? Should we take you to an emergency shelter? Yeah. Want to come with us? It's so cold. Please come. You want to come? Möchtest du mit uns mitkommen? These people are in urgent need of help. Okay, you need new trousers, definitely. They're all wet. Okay, no problem. We'll give you new trousers. Give me your hand. I'll help you, no problem. Okay, perfect. Do you have anything important here? Go on ahead of me. Lauf schon mal vor. The man's belongings have a strong stench. Kati Kaiser hides her reaction. She doesn't want to make the man uncomfortable. He's really freezing. All his clothes are wet. OK, we'll get going and get you a new pair of trousers. And a hot shower. We'll put this over you. That's a bit warmer now. That better? Okay. Better? Okay. Hi there. Are you guys full? We just found a man who's really freezing. He wet and soiled himself. He absolutely needs a shower and clean clothes. I can't leave him outside. He'll freeze. Ich kann den nicht draußen lassen. Der erfriert. Ja. Like many of the homeless people in Berlin, this man is from Eastern Europe. A few thousand of them live in the city. The exact figure is unknown. Most have mental health issues. Okay, we're off. Good night. They take the most vulnerable people to an emergency shelter. When I hear the word cold, I immediately think of the coldest days of the month, when temperatures are life-threatening. We're going to test you, okay? And I'll get you some tea. This is good, isn't it? Puts a smile on your face. It's good we came. It's really good. 
Gut, dass wir da waren. Oh mein Gott, das ist du meine Güte. Oh. Ja. Ach du meine Güte. Jeder läuft halt irgendwie so ein bisschen mit Schmerzen. Most of the public don't see it. So these people fall through the cracks. The man was in the middle of the pavement. He was in a life-threatening situation. It really gets me emotionally. I don't get how we can be the only ones doing this. Although she had a sheltered upbringing, Kati Kaiser herself lived on the street for a while. She draws on that experience when she helps the homeless. Okay, direct, 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 direct. Yeah, wait, is it direct? She spends her free time with her son. Their time together is precious to her. I think we always seek out activities that are kind of special, so we can really cherish the little bit of time we have together. I'm not always at work. Even if it does really suck up my time, I'm a mum too, so I look for things I can do with my son. You have to move your feet too. I can't pull you all the time. Right after the ice skating session, she's back to work. This emergency shelter has just opened its doors, and already the number of people waiting to get in is pushing the facility to its limits. Ay, ay, ay. There are about 40 such emergency shelters in Berlin. Sasha. Sasha, can you tell her she needs to do a rapid test? Everyone gets tested regularly. Anyone with COVID isn't allowed in. Weapons, drugs and alcohol are prohibited too. And the staff also screen people for other diseases and parasites. People with disabilities have a particularly rough time on the streets. The biggest problem is that we can't take care of everyone. We don't have barrier-free facilities and we're barely able to look after them all. It's a big problem. Every day, the cold bus picks up homeless people from rescue centers. 61-year-old Ulrika explains how she spent time in prison because she tried to steal two pairs of pants from a supermarket. You hungry? All right, how about some noodle soup and coffee? Ulrika is retired. She says she lost her apartment five weeks prior. But the helpers know her well. She's a compulsive hoarder and will probably end up back on the street again and again. Okay, Ulrika, off we go. The homeless people they pick up always get to make song requests. You doing okay, Ulrika? Yeah? Turn it up. Okay, will do. Okay, alles klar, krieg hin. If that's what she wants, it's what she gets. We're a Make-A-Wish mobile. We make dreams come true. The homeless people don't often get to listen to their favorite song. Most of them don't have a cell phone or internet access. 
This is a welcome break from the drudgery of day-to-day -day life. Ulrika is glad to have a place to stay tonight. The hardest part is finding a warm place to sleep. So I started sleeping outside the bank, but they threw me out because I stank so bad. And then I told them, if you give me 50 cents, I'll go into a public restroom, wash up and change my clothes. Then I won't stink so much. And the lady gave me a euro, so twice as much. And I said, all right then, I'll go freshen up. Ulrike is anxious about climbing the stairs to the shelter. Kati promises to go with her. Inside, Kati gets a cheerful greeting. A homeless man wishing her a good morning despite the late hour. She tries to explain to him what time of day it is. Good evening, he cries. Odd interactions are a daily occurrence here at the emergency shelter run by the Berliner Stadtmission. But most guests are in a good mood today. They're warm and they have food and somewhere to sleep. I'll keep doing this for the rest of my life. <laughs> I'll definitely always do social work. It's what I'm cut out to do. I know that people can make a difference. Kati Kaiser can't imagine doing anything else but helping people in need. She knows she can make a positive impact. And that's not an opportunity she's prepared to waste.